On May 11, the Chinese government released its latest population census results, which put China's total population at 1.41 billion in 2020, up 5.38% from the census results from 10 years ago, but with a record low average annual growth rate of 0.53%. China's National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, only announced the total population in 2020 without giving specific statistics on the number of births and deaths. Experts and private citizens in China and internationally have raised questions about the severe fraud of the Chinese Communist Party's census data. Many Chinese netizens have started to calculate and found that many parts of the data released by the government do not match each other. For example, Ning Jijie, director of the National Bureau of Statistics, said in a Q&A session that the number of births in 2020 was 12 million. According to the chart published by the National Bureau of Statistics of China, one can compute that the natural population growth in 2020 is 11.73 million. Using 12 million minus 11.73 million, how is it possible that in China, which suffered from the COVID-19 epidemic in 2020, there were only 270,000 deaths? Another set of published data is the number of people aged 0 to 14 years. It claims to be 253.38 million. According to the published data, the number of births in the 13 years from 2006 to 2019 was 21.23 million births. The number of births in 2020, even with the zero mortality rate for children and adolescents 0 to 14, born in those 13 years, would have to reach 42.15 million to meet the claimed number of 253.38 million of age 0 to 14. However, the announced birth number in 2020 is 12 million. So where did the 30 plus million 0 to 14 year old population go? Furthermore, the census shows that the increase in the population over 65 years of age in 2020 was 16.41 million. The number of deaths was 14.27 million. It means that there must be more than 30 million to supplement the population group over 65 years of age to logically realize the growth data of the elderly population obtained from the census. Based on the age of 65, the official data released by the Chinese government is that the number of people born in China in 1955 was 20.04 million. If this population survived the Great Famine in the 1950s and 1960s and the brutal cultural revolution, and survive to the present without dying, it is still far from enough to make up the 30 million. These are just a few of the countless loopholes in the census data. Under the official Weibo of the National Bureau of Statistics of China, NBS, China Statistics, a large number of netizens questioned whether the census results were true, leaving comments like, if the census results are true, there should be no need for such policies as encouraging childbirth, a divorce cooling off period, and delaying retirement. Some netizens commented, Numbers are unbiased. We don't need to give birth to children yet, so I won't be having any for now. So we don't need to push for marriage and childbirth anymore, right? In this case, delayed retirement can be abolished, right? In addition, some netizens asked the government to provide more detailed data, including gender ratio of men and women age 18 to 35, ethnic minority population, as well as birth population, percentage of second births, the gender ratio of second births, birth rate, and death rate. The gap between China's announced population and its actual population is too much. There is a lot of distortion in the population figures generated. The statistics and data of this country do not reflect the situation of the country built over 70 years, and it is simply a tragedy. Dr. Yi Fu Xian, a demographer and senior scientist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, in his 2020 census simulation study, published in Social Science Forum, speculates that China's actual population in 2020 is likely to be around 1.255 billion and is unlikely to exceed 1.28 billion, based on comparative studies of various data. In a May 11 tweet, he said, the actual population in 2020 will be less than 1.28 billion and will have negative growth. The fertility rate will be less than 1.1, with fewer than 10 million births and about 10.6 million deaths. This announcement by the Chinese government that the population is still growing is a false growth due to an inflated birth number and an omitted death number. He believes that the Chinese government has been falsifying in various aspects and it's difficult to close the gap everywhere. For example, 
China's published population figures and household registration figures are out of proportion to each other, with the population increasing by 133 million from 2000 to 2009, and the household registration surprisingly increasing by 174 million. In 2018, the population increased by 5.3 million, but the household registration increased by 9.24 million. According to Dr. Yi Fu Shen, the 2020 census administrators are mostly the original staff of the China Statistics Bureau, the former Family Planning Commission, and the Population Society, who instinctively let the population data remain continuous or face being held accountable. China's fiscal system makes many local governments highly dependent on financial transfers from higher levels of government. Inflated population gives them more financial transfers, more funding for education and healthcare, money for poverty alleviation, etc., and more leverage in fighting for railroad and highway projects. Therefore, local governments also have the motive to forge statistics of more population. This is not the first time that China's census data has been falsified. The 2000 China census also had a lot of holes. For example, there were 90.15 million people in the 5 to 10 age group, and 15 years later, these people should be between 20 and 25 years old. However, in the 2015 data, the number of people between 20 and 25 years old was 130.31 million, and the number did not decrease due to normal death, but increased by more than 10 million. The census was completed in early December 2020. China's National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, said in March 2021 that the results would be released in early April. Still, on April 16, it announced another delay, citing, more detailed information will be provided. Before that, on April 15, a Chinese official, Cheng Longgan, deputy director of Anhui Provincial Bureau of Statistics, said at the provincial census work meeting that it was essential to pay attention to changes in census data and report them to the local party committee and the government promptly. Pay attention to the response to public opinion and strictly adhere to data confidentiality rules and not to use them for external purposes before the official release. China's population data has a direct bearing on the country's social, economic, educational, national defense, and foreign policy. The falsification of population data requires coordination of various departments in China, including education, health, household registration, and the Bureau of Statistics. It is why China's 2020 census data has been delayed and artificially adjusted, taking time to be released. In addition to hiding the crisis from the world, the fact is that the central government has been denied access to accurate population data by a corrupt bureaucracy. So what will decisions based on false figures bring to the country's development? What about the falsified population? According to these falsified data, how can we meet the national target? So its GDP and all the other data of the country may be left hanging. An emerging economic crisis will occur if these data are false. If there is such a big gap between its published data and its original data, it is very scary. Even the official figures released by China acknowledge the population problem the country is facing. Ning Jizhe, head of China's National Bureau of Statistics, said that 12 million people were born last year, down 18% from 14.65 million the year before. It was the fourth consecutive year of declining births in China. Ning added that the census data also reflected some structural contradictions in the population, such as a decline in the size of the working age population and women of childbearing age, an increasingly aging population, a decline in the total fertility rate, and a low number of births. Aging has become a fundamental national condition. In 2016, the Chinese Communist Party scrapped the one-child policy, which was designed to stop rapid population growth. But for policymakers, the baby boom they were expecting did not happen. Nan 
。所以在这种情况下，年轻人是否能够真正意义上，呃，愿意去有更多的生育，去做更多的这种贡献，会变得非常重要。我会认为以后还会越来越少的。嗯，因为我是一个呃有两个孩子的妈妈，嗯、呃，对于如果我就是，虽然我是跟着咱们国家这个号召生了二胎，嗯、呃，但是我嗯挺其实挺后悔的这个决定的，真的，因为现在是呃，首先我们是嗯。经济我们来来说还是很好的，但是最大的这个就是没有人帮我们带。然后呢，另外一点就是这个孩子的教育问题。但是父母的身体啊，还有爷爷奶奶的身体啊，可能都是这个这这个存在的一个问题。他们不可能帮我们一直带的。嗯，然后我们还得有工作，还得去赡养老人，还得去带孩子。我们、嗯、这个对我们来说简直是太困扰了。After nearly 40 years of collective negligence on the Chinese government, the Communist Party's demographic statistics can be considered the most unreliable in the world. The results of the latest national census also show that China's working-age population, or people aged between 16 and 59, stands at 880 million, and the figure indicates that the country still has an abundant labor force. The average age of China's population is 38.8 years old, so in general, the population is still in the prime of life. Contrary to the officials' claims, it is foreseeable that a population decline in the next decade will shatter the illusion created by the Communist Party. Thank you for watching. If you like our work, please hit that like button and share our content with a friend. We strive to bring you the latest news, commentary, and insights out of China. And we want to hear from you. Please comment, and we will be sure to engage. Thanks again, and take care.